No, the turtle actually is dead. Rip. It's max noted. Anyways, it's Triard Cup 48 on scaffolding. A map that is definitely a bit uh, controversial for all the wrong reasons. But let's get into it as I have nobody. There we go. And Tufo with the first mistake right off the bat, so we'll leave him be. Let's go with Chichalman, our turtly boy, as it's a double touch there from it looked like Este and uh, John into the drift. It's important to get that gear up if you can. But Diskeet's managed it pretty well. Ooh, low line to Chowman. Smart move. I like that. But does Bonka S. Alright, Diskeet, what do you got? Fails to jump pretty well, actually. A little too far to the middle. Magnet giving him a little bit of pace. And a 4076 to start it. Oh, Joe's having problems. John's through, Boink makes it, just beats Patrice to the line by a couple of tenths. To Chowman, doesn't have the turtle, and Este, free round from him. Tufo, still having problems. Ah. Actually, no, I didn't need to do that. Never mind. <laughs> Rest, rip, rip for uh, Tufo. Tried his hardest, but not close enough. The first casualty of war, if you will. So let's look at this. I mean, realistically, could I see a certain someone winning? I see two possible winners. I see two very likely winners, or at least two very likely finalists. I like John skin. It's very trippy. Hopefully, oh, there's a touch already. It doesn't lose too much time. Hopefully you guys have cars off through there, because I'm telling you right now, going, going cars on through any of these is almost impossible. Still Boink and Disky up ahead. We'll go with Boink. Oh, a bit more speed. Oh, and he's just going to double touch, but he's going to respawn. Disky. Still just doing his thing. Everyone else, I think, is having some problems through there, but we're getting through nicely as times are coming through on the checkpoint. It is Boink second. Patrice gets overtaken by Joe, so he'll be fourth. There's John and Chichalman Este. That rip. Really a point three from Boink with no respawn. Este, I don't think meant to uh, DNF. Oh well, what can you do? As long as I get that one drift without touching, I should get top three. Yeah, it's it's a tricky one. Like I said, the the timing on the gear is very tight. Let's go with, uh... Let's, let's go with Boink. We'll go with Boink for a bit. Patrice with a pretty dope car skin, I must say. He's very wide. I think he had to release just a little bit. Oh, Joe got the drift. There you go. See? You get everything right and you're gonna get a pretty good launch. Over. He's got a little bit too much speed. It's the penalty, though. He's fine. Go to Chow in third. Oh, wow. Somehow gets out of that one in one piece. That was very close. He just rode the like the little bit of wall that's on there. Does find it through. There's Joe. Boink should make it. Very close. And John just ahead of Patrice. So the top four coming up. Germany, France, and the Netherlands. Two from France, two from the land of the duchies, and only one lone jury at the top. Genuinely hate the scaffolding before the engine off. Well, I, like I said, I missed it. Even though I looked at it a million and one times, so I was like, I'm going to take this one out before I start. Nope, just didn't. No US players, Saj, I know. Miggy. <laughs> but stay tuned, we've got marbles coming up. Anyways, top five right now, it's John on... Well, the uh, disadvantageous as both Joe and Chichalman, a huge hit from both of them. So they'll be fighting for the scraps there. Did the exact same thing. But it's Joe that got out of it the best. Chichalman hit a little too much. Letter between J and L isn't working. The K key? You broke the K key. Nice. No potassium for you. 
But ahead it is Disky with Boink and John. So we rejoin Joe. There's a really good line. And I think for Tchalman, well, just lost a little bit too much on the mistake. And he's out of here. One lone Frenchman remains. <laughs> Boink is XDDing. Or XXDing. Wow. That man. <laughs> Ill you, please. <laughs> Noted. But yeah, the precision is the uh, the part that some people are struggling with. Patrice, yeah, Patrice got your top 10 again. Man's consistent, I gotta say. Let's go, John. Again. Oh, boink. Boink, double boink. So he's gonna be in a bit of a pickle, but so is John. That does give Boink a chance to catch up. We'll have more speed into the magnet. Up he goes. John probably just saw Boink blow by him. Radar gun probably beeping quite loudly. Oh, geez, that magnet saved Boink so much. Low line for Disky. Joe takes the high line. Hold on. Hold on, John with the overtake. Goes high to low and back again. It's Boink, and he's just going to be a little bit too late. And for Boink... He is not gonna make it, but he does, at the very least, make it onto the weekly prog, so you can be a bit happy about that one. But boink, top three. There appears to be a, an odd one out in terms of flags when you look at the colors. Or the orientation of it, depending on how you want to look at it. But anyways, top three situation, John again. Not the best line. Diskeed and Joe. A bit of a touch there from the Dutchman. And to, uh, John as well. So for Diskeed, I think he's just going to ride into the sunset. Oh, John's very close though. Joe did not get the best wall ride, I think. He might have had a bit of an error. Oh, and another touch from John. That's not what he needs. He can clear the gap. Oh, and a huge bonk right into the wall and I think for Joe he should be fine he can just bounce around takes a very very safe approach so we'll add this on here it is John another top three for him if I can spell his name properly that would probably help out a fair bit but top two it's Boink and Joe, both winners, of course, of the Trier Cup in the past. Diskeet has been leading the field quite a lot. Do the first bit of scaffolding, though. It's clean from both. Oh, and Joe with a touch. Not out of it, though. There could be a mistake from Diskeet. Diskeet does get it perfectly though. That gap opens up by a couple of tenths. Just keeps starting to run away. A few more tenths to it. Oh, not as much of a time gain. Joe pushes it on the inside and I think that's it. One bonk goes into two. And for Diskeet, yet another win added on to his resume. And unfortunately, Joe will not be seeing the top step of the podium again. But GG's for everybody. Even if it was a complete mess. We're not back next week, though. Not back next week. <laughs> he says, good, not back. He doesn't want to play again next week. <laughs> Smart. And Joe finally crossed the line 33.8 seconds later. I miss the days for me and Z. We're always finalists. Yeah. It was a good time. A good time to be alive. Oh